All right, I'm gonna show you my first uh, surfboard. I created a fish. Um, it's a 5-4 fish. Um, what else can I say about this? Uh, it, the shape is amazing. I'm gonna start off with that. Uh, the color, don't judge that. Just judge the shape, okay? Uh, but anyways, here it is. Come on down, fish. This is it, this is my baby right here. Uh, this is my first build. It's, uh, it's pretty good, pretty cool. Uh, got the tail going, oh yeah. And this is the back side. This is the back side of it. Is it a, oh, hold on. There you go. I put, oh, that's not good. It put <laughs> one wave at a time. I hope the camera can see it. Uh, but yeah, this is, uh, this is a good old fish. A little bit of a, a little bit of a concave in here. Uh, it's a twin, it's a twenty, it's a twin fin, with a five degree, uh, five degree cant, and uh, yeah, this is it, guys. Really excited to show you guys the fish. I'm gonna talk to you guys about the five mistakes to avoid when making your own surfboard. So this is surfboard number one. I'm gonna talk to you guys about the mistakes. Stay tuned. Okay, mistake number one, don't use spray paint. What happens when you use spray paint? This is what happens when you use spray paint. Uh, if you guys can see it in the camera, it starts to chip away uh, once you put the resin in. You, let me show you guys, focus, focus. Okay, so it starts to chip away. You see these little specks of black on the yellow? It starts to chip away once the resin starts to uh, touch the paint. So don't use spray paint. And again, this is after the lamination process. So after you put the fiberglass on the board and then you wanna put the hot coat on, don't put spray paint, okay? Uh, it will cause you more problems than fixing them. Okay, so that's my mistake number one. Okay, mistake number two is make sure you have enough resin to cover up the rails. So when you're putting the fiberglass on and you're wetting the fiberglass with the resin, make sure you use enough, more than enough. I would say if, I would say you use maximum resin to cover up, to wet the rails enough. Because if you don't, what happens is that they're gonna end up being dry and it's gonna be harder for you to tuck them in underneath your board. Okay, so mistake number three is after about 45 minutes, make sure you go back to your board and cut the excess fiberglass that's hanging over over on the side of your rails. My mistake, I waited the next day, I cut the rail. It cost me a lot more work. I had to do more sanding. You don't wanna do that. Avoid that step, I'm telling you. Okay, that's step number three. Okay, mistake number four is when you're putting the fiberglass over the shaped board or the foam, you got the tail part. And everything will be covered except for this little this little area right here. This will be left open if you do the cut right down the middle. If you do the cut down the middle, you're gonna be left with an open diamond sized shape. And you're gonna be like, what am I gonna do with that? Now water's gonna seep into it. How do I glass it? It's always gonna mess with you. So pre-cut, three to four diamond sized shapes of fiberglass that fit this size. And that way when you're glassing, you glass this, you glass this corner, this, this, uh, this valley, you put that corner, the diamond fiberglass here, and then you start glassing everything else. So everything is covered at once. And then when you're doing the deck or the bottom, whichever one you do first, you have everything covered. You're going to do another diamond size cut and you're going to, you're going to cut it, right? You're going to lap them, wrap them and let it dry. And that's, that's how you do this fish, okay? Um, because it does take you, it took me a long time, as you can see. I couldn't figure it out. It's disgusting, it looks nasty in there. Um, I don't know if the camera can see it. But yeah, that's what, that's what I would do. Finally, mistake number five is don't stick in one spot or set it the mode to um, low RPMs. I would stick to like 2,000, uh, 1 to 2,000. Play with that first, get comfortable with it, and then you can bump it up. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, there's definitely a lot more mistakes that I made on this board. Obviously, it's not the prettiest, uh, but it does the job of doing, of getting, of getting some, some waves in. 
Um, yeah, super excited. Uh, tell me if you guys make your own board and see how it goes.